Trust me, she's a pound shop, Margaret Thatcher. Welcome to another rapid radio bursts on the crisis in the Conservative Party, on the runners and hobblers and riders and winners and losers in the donkey derby currently unfolding in the Tory leadership race. Look, I knew Margaret Thatcher. The first words I ever chanted on the streets in a demonstration were, Margaret Thatcher, milk snatcher. That was in the days before a Labour Party came along that would whip its members in the House of Lords to vote against poor children having free school dinners during the school holidays. But that, I suppose, is another chapter. We'll come to that in due course. When I say that Liz Truss, currently our Foreign Secretary, is a pound shop Margaret Thatcher, that tells you what I think of Margaret Thatcher just as much as what I think about Liz Truss. Say what you like about Thatcher, and I did over many decades. I even intervened in the controversy over her funeral arrangements. So from marching in the streets as a teenager against her, to as a member of parliament demanding that no state funeral be afforded her and having sat in parliament with her for several years, I know what I'm talking about. Margaret Thatcher was a giant compared to Liz Truss. Margaret Thatcher would not have sat dumb while so many of the things that the Boris Johnson cabinet has been struck dumb about, and if not dumb, then powerless to act, Margaret Thatcher was a person who shaped British history. She changed it for the worse. She changed our country for the worse. But no one will ever be able to claim that she was a simpleton. Liz Truss is a simpleton. It is not her fault, but it is the most disqualifying characteristic when you're trying to be the Prime Minister in a time of global challenge and crises. The fact that she is as thick as mince ought to be a disqualification. This is a woman who, despite thousands of the most expert foreign policy specialists and diplomats, working around her all day and every day, does not know the Baltic Sea from the Black Sea. She does not know which parts of the Russia-Ukraine conflict are actually in Russia and not in Ukraine. She denied to Foreign Minister Lavrov that Russia had any rights of sovereignty over regions of Russia that are indisputably part of Russia. But it's not only that. When I looked back, as I must, at her contributions during the Brexit debate, when she was a fanatic Remainer, a fanatic for the single market, all the things that Jacob Rees-Mogg is now hoping we have forgotten now that he's pledged his troth to her, when I look back on her arguments in favour of remaining in the European Union, I don't just see a hypocrite, I see a near imbecile, a person who didn't even understand how the single market worked and would work if we were to be brought back into it or alongside it. Liz Truss is a weather vane. She has turned her face towards the Brexit side of British politics because she knows that the more Tories remember her as a fanatic member of the Michael Heseltine John Major Brigade, the less likely they are to vote for her. Liz Truss, being a pound shop Margaret Thatcher, would not be worth tuppence to us in the great game of politics. So, I think it would be highly dangerous for us if the Tories were to choose her. And if the ERG, led by a certain Marc Francois, whatever happened to him, time was when he was on the television and in our face all the time, he's disappeared for some reason. 
but he re-emerged this day to say that he's hoping the European research group, although what research they do with public funds backing them, I'm not sure, that they should support Liz Truss. So let me get this right. The fanatic Brexiteers want Britain's next Prime Minister to have been a woman who was a fanatic Remainer. But I'll tell you what, it might not matter. Because if Liz Truss becomes the Prime Minister of Britain, there might be no Britain left. This woman is a dangerous warmonger. Her language, her ideas and concepts expressed throughout the Ukraine conflict have reinforced the very worst instincts of Boris Johnson, the swashbuckling sword bearer that is no more. Every step and word that he has spoken, she has taken further. Not content with not knowing even the geography of Ukraine and Russia, she plainly doesn't know our military strength, or should that be weakness? We could fit the entire British Armed Forces into Villa Park Football Stadium in Birmingham. And that is not an exaggeration. Yet this imbecile, who's forever climbing on board tanks, dressed like Margaret Thatcher, posing behind fluttering Union Jacks, just as Margaret Thatcher once did, is ramping up the argument for war all the time. And yesterday she said, if I am Prime Minister, Ukraine will win the war against Russia. Now, that makes it clear she's an imbecile, but it also makes it clear that she is a present danger to all of us. Because Russia, with one multi-armed intercontinental ballistic missile of the hypersonic variety, could reduce the entire British Isles to ash, and not even the cockroaches we don't have would survive these blasts. We have a woman who is doing her best to talk up the danger of World War III. As Chris Hedges, my favorite American, said just the other day, we have never been, not even including the Cuban Missile Crisis, this close to a nuclear war between nuclear-armed superpowers. If you think that that is the time to put a near imbecile in charge of our national affairs. If you think that's the time to put a pound shop Margaret Thatcher in charge, then I don't know that there's any hope for us. The good news is she's not exactly setting the heather on fire, but if she gets the ERG backing, she might just pick up the pace. She might just end up in a final two with Rishi Sunak, who all those on the inside of the Beltway, inside the political bubble, really want to win, but who nobody, virtually nobody, inside the membership of the Conservative Party wants to win, that would mean that it would be Liz Truss PM. And we'd all be trussed up like a turkey, waiting for an early Christmas. She's a surgical device, all right, but she's a fatal one. Let's just hope and pray that her windpipe gets choked off sometime before the final ballot.